Hey there guys, it's me Amar Rafi on Geeks Tutorial and today we're gonna be show you some interesting things about VLC Media Player. Started as an academic project, is now the biggest open source media player in the world. But VLC out there is not just a media player, it has far more features you can ever imagine. You can convert media file format, can take snapshot, add watermark and record screen and much more. To go through the number of hidden feature, VLC has a cloud fill and in dev wiki, which it does. So instead of you reading through the incredible technical wiki, we have gathered the 12 best VLC tricks and hacks you may not know. Number 1. Convert any media files Did you know that you can use VLC to convert your media file into a wide variety of formats? The app lets you choose exactly how would you like to convert them, or you can simply use a given preset. To start, go to Media, Convert or Save, now click on Add button and browse and select the video file that you want to convert. Now click on Convert or Save. From here, you can select your desired codec or format to convert to. As we told earlier, we have here a wide variety of codecs, otherwise you can go here and customize the presets even more, which will give you more freedom to convert any video file to your desired format. Now let me show you a sample conversion process. Before that, go here and choose a destination to save the convert file and give the convert a new file name as well. Now click on save. And finally, you have to click on start. Now you can see the file is getting converted in real time and the surprising factor that the render process itself showing on the VLC timeline. And the converting process is just finished. I think it's handled the process pretty good. Overall, we have to consider that the VLC mainly stands for just as a media player. Well, let me say it's packed with ton of power and features, which we'll reveal in a moment. Well, that's only the first feature that turns me on. There is a lot more on the way, so let's move on and check them out. Number 2. Play or download online videos you can actually use VLC to play and download online videos. You can use the full suite of tools to manipulate video playback or save them for later play. To start an online video, go to Media, open Network Stream, press Network tab, enter the URL of the video and click Play. To save it instead of play, choose Convert and you can see the video will download to your computer. Number 3. Record a currently playing video or audio If you want to record and capture a snippet of a video that you are playing, VLC has an option to do so. To enable this feature, on the menu bar, click View, Advanced Controls. Now extra buttons will appear on the app. While playing a media file, click on the Record button to start recording. Press it again to stop. Recording will be saved in the video folder for videos. File audio will go to your music folder. On the Mac version, go to the menu bar and click on playback, record, or use the shortcut command plus alt plus r. Number 4. Record desktop. VLC is able to record a video of your desktop acting as a screen recorder. To enable desktop recording, go to media, convert or save, go to the capture device tab, and on the capture device mode drop down menu, select desktop. Select your frame rate under desired frame rate. For the capture and click on convert or save. Finally, select your codec and the destination and click start. To stop record, click stop button. Number 5. Record webcam. You can record a video in VLC using the webcam. Go to media, open capture device and select direct show from the capture mode drop down menu. From here, you will select the video and audio device from void capture. Click play and VLC will stream from your webcam. Use VLC's ability to record the currently playing video and you have yourself a webcam recorder. Number 6. Rip a DVD Did you know you can use VLC to rip your DVDs into your computer? It's a simple way to create an archive of DVDs for backup purpose or a way to view them when you don't have access to the physical disk. Go to Media, Convert or Save and click on the Disk tab. Under Disk section, click on the radio button of the media disk you are using and check No Disk menu. Make sure the selected disk is correct and click on Convert or Save. Choose the codec you wish to save in and save it with the extension that is compatible with your codec. Number 7. Video and Audio Effects VLC gives you multitude of tools that allow you to manipulate the video and audio of any given media. To see the tools available, go to Tools, Effects and Filters. From here, you can adjust colors, crop, rotate video, and filters, etc. With audio, you get usual equalizer to tune your music. Number 8. Add watermark on video. You can add your own watermark on a video through VLC. Bypass the need of a dedicated video editor to do so. 
Do remember though that you will need to use VLC's recording feature to save the video with the watermark. To start, go to Tools, Effects and Filters, click on the Video Effects tab. Under the Overlay tab, you will get the option either add in your logo or assemble text to the video. Number 9. Take a snapshot Ever need to take a snapshot of a video you are watching? VLC has a way to do so. Simply use the shortcut Shift plus S on Windows and Linux or Command plus Alt plus S on OS X. The picture will be saved in your OS's respective picture folder. Number 10. Bookmark a video You can bookmark a part of a video so that you can return to it later or if you feel like replaying a certain part of a video. To bookmark a video, go to Playback, Custom Bookmarks and Manage. The Edit Bookmarks will pop up. Press the Create button when at a section of a video you would like to bookmark. Number 11. Add Subtitles If a video you have doesn't come with subtitles, you can add your own by finding an SRT subtitle file for the video and add it in. To add the subtitle, play your video and go to the subtitle on the menu bar and click Add Subtitle File. If you want VLC to play it automatically, place the SRT file in the same folder as the video and make sure it uses the same file name as the video file. So it's time for the final one. Number 12. Adjust Playback Speed This feature is incredibly useful when you are watching a media file, primarily for the content such as podcasts, audiobooks, recorded lectures, etc. To start, press close square bracket to fast forward by 0.1x for each press. To slow it down, press open square bracket instead. On the Mac version, there is a slider to control playback speed located in playback. We hope these VLC tricks and hacks will help you to use VLC Media Player more efficiently. And if you liked what you just saw, leave a thumbs up. To watch more contents from Geeks Tutorials, subscribe to our channel. And this is your host Amarafi. Have a nice day.